Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign, revealing Sunday it raised $82 million during last week's Democratic National Convention. In the past month, the campaign has raised over $540 million. While the Harris team is still riding high, there is criticism from some Democrats over not featuring any speakers from the pro-Palestine movement at the DNC. Defeating Trump is the top concern, but we can do that and we can also yeah. give space, create space for people, voices that are marginalized. We missed an opportunity to do that here. While both campaigns took a break from the trail this weekend, Vice Presidential hopeful J.D. Vance sat down for a televised interview where he was pressed on former President Donald Trump's stance on abortion rights and where he stands on the possibility of a federal abortion ban. He would not support it. I mean, he but said that explicitly. It? Yeah, I, th I mean, if you're not supporting it as the president of the United States, you fundamentally so he have to veto, veto it. So veto a federal abortion ban? I think he would. On Friday, Trump raised eyebrows after writing on social media, my administration will be great for women and their reproductive rights, even as he celebrated appointing Supreme Court justices who supported overturning Roe versus Wade. Next week, both candidates will be back on the trail in battleground states. Christian Benavides, CBS News.